We use a lot of lenses and mirrors in our daily life. In the laboratory, we learn to find its focal length. For this, we require a special instrument, which is an optical bench. Right here in front of me is the optical bench. It comprises of two parallel rods, which could be made of wood, plastic or metal. In our case, it is a metal bar. This is mounted on a stand, which has provision to put it in a horizontal condition. That means these two bars need to be horizontal. On this, we have some uprights, which are capable of moving along the bars. They have provision to hold a lens or a mirror or pins, as you can see. These lens holders are so designed that they clasp the lens in between with the help of this screw. So it can be tightly placed and held vertical. This mobility is allowed in it and you can always fix the position using this screw. The uprights also have a screw here which allows is a movement in this manner. These screws can be pushed to put the leveling for the pins or the mirrors or the lenses as we wish. There is a scale attached here and for each of these somewhere around the center there is a marking. This is to show exact position of the lens or the pin. This marking allows you to read straight away from the scale. The scale is in centimeters and millimeter marking like the usual scale. So that's not difficult at all. To start the experiment with this, you need to have these levels the same. So the tip of the pin, the center of the lens, the mirror if there is one and another pin should all be in level. Why do we need two pins? because one of these we are going to have as object which will send out rays in all directions. Some rays which would fall on the mirror or the lens would be refracted or reflected and an image would be formed on the other side or the side itself. This second pin is to be used as an image locator pin. These levels, the center of the lens, the center of the mirror if we place here, the tips of the needle should be at the same level. In order to check that, you can see it like this, approximately the same level it should be. There is something that you need to know is how the measurement is to be done. Supposing this is the object pin and I remove this and I want to find the distance between the object and the center of the lens. This would be my reading for it. Of course, we will have to take into account the thickness of the lens. If the upright is not vertical, then this distance will not match the distance that we are reading from the scale. In order to correct this, we can take a double-sided sharpened pencil like this one, or you could take a knitting needle which has the um, sharpened end on both sides like the one they use to make socks. And you can place it here and find this reading or find this value reading it off from the scale and placing it again against the scale and noting the value. If there is a difference then there is end correction which should be noted and corrected for all the readings that you choose. How do we find where the image is located? To do that, we use the method of removal of parallax. Now what is parallax? If two objects are held in the same line of sight, what is line of sight? This red line, if I take it as line of sight, I am looking in this direction. I am closing one eye in order to be in this line of sight. So if you have two objects, in the same line of sight, like this, then 
you will see a lateral displacement the moment you move your head. This displacement or this separation becomes lesser and lesser as you bring the objects closer to each other. So much so that when they are in the same location, there is no parallax at all. You can do this to understand better. Hold your fingers in front of you at a separation as much as possible. Move your head from the line of sight. Bring the fingers closer and you can check out how this lateral displacement reduces and becomes zero when the two are in the same position. So removal of parallax is what we are going to do in the lab in order to find the location of the image. So if you were to find the location of the image which is formed somewhere here, you use an image locator pin and move it in such a way and remove parallax between this image locator pin and the image that you see. So that would mean that that is the position where the image is located. So by removal of parallax, you are able to determine the position of the image. So you will then have an object distance which you can uh, see or check out from the uh, way you place the object in front of the lens or the mirror and also be able to find out the distance from the lens or the mirror to the image locator pin which would be your image distance and using the formula you are able to then determine an accurate value of focal length.